What's up, family? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, The Yank Man, and I am finally here, y'all, at the church, and I'm gonna do what y'all been asking. All of these questions y'all been asking, well, not all, but most of the questions that y'all been asking online, as far as my setup, what am I doing, especially this thing right here. I'm finna try to break it down to y'all and show y'all my setup and what I got going on, all right? So y'all bear with me with these edits. We're gonna try to get this thing going. The first thing I wanna do, I just wanna show y'all kind of like the overview of what's happening and what I'm what I'm doing or what, how I got everything uh, set up. All right, so make sure y'all smash that like button and make sure if you haven't already, you gotta subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Y'all ready for it? Let's get it. All right, so now that we got that out the way, let's. I'm gonna just show y'all kind of like, I'm gonna do some demonstrations and then we just, we just gonna go with the flow, all right? So sorry if this video is long, I just wanna make sure I get everything out there. So um, right now, anything I play, there's no sound, as y'all can hear, there's no sound coming through. If I play up here, no sound coming through. If I play on my guitar, no sound coming through. All right, I don't know if I, uh, I don't think I showed y'all this, but the way I'm getting MIDI from the guitar, to the computer is through the Witty Master. It says Witty Master on it. And it was like less than $100, but it's Bluetooth MIDI to my computer, all right? So right now, you don't hear nothing. In order for me to hear something, I got two things. Well, first thing I got to do is I got to go over here to my iPad and go to the pads page, and I have to activate the pads. Or I can activate, if you see on here, it says piano. I can activate just the piano, or I can activate, you know, the pads at the top is big old pad button. So what I like to do first is just turn on the piano. If I, so if I hit this, now the piano is activated, but as you can still see, there is no piano. That's because if you look on the iPad, it's muted. Well, it's not muted, it's deactivated. So if you look where it says piano, it's, it's not activated yet. I can activate it two ways. I can activate it here on my uh, Novation. As you can see, activate it on the iPad too. Or if I don't want to do the Novation, I can activate it on the iPad. The only thing is, uh, whatever controls I have on here, a lot of times I like to use the controls from here and I'll see the same thing happen on the iPad, but it's not the same way in reverse. And that's because, I don't know why, but they didn't make this thing uh, motorized faders and they didn't make it to receive MIDI. So what, what happens on the computer, it, it, it doesn't translate back to the these devices as far as the Novation, but it does on the iPad. So I like to activate my piano instead of on the iPad, I activate it here on the keyboard. And now, now we got sound on the keyboard, all right? So let's just go through it. So I got my keyboard here. I can activate all three of my sounds. Well, that's the first sound I'm using is piano. Second sound, I got an EP sound. And I got like this worship piano, dark piano joint that I like to uh, lay layer with my keys, but just this is just a dark sound. It sounds better when it's layered with the uh, with the piano, especially on songs like. Else I can also do is I can activate these. Uh, so you see these pads on the bottom of the screen on the iPad. It says Dreamy, Power, all these different type of pads and strings. I can activate those here on the Novation as well. So if I wanted to add strings, I can add strings. I deactivated the piano. So now we have just strings. What are we supposed to have? Oh, 
So that I'm glad that happened. So the reason why I'm not hearing anything, even though I have the strings activated, is because I only activated just piano. If y'all remember, I did that. I only did just piano. If I want to activate the piano and the pads, what I would have to do is just hit the pad button at the top of the screen on the iPad. And now it'll play piano and pads, but I got the piano uh, deactivated. So now I can hit the strings. I should be able to hit the strings. And I, I use the expression pedal thanks to Leonard and thanks to David Parks. These people are amazing. Y'all got to make sure y'all follow them and check them out. All right, so. So if I was to add the piano in with that, then we have something like this. Then I can deactivate that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, also, I got some other sounds I like to use. These are my go-to pad sounds. Uh, it's a wave sound and then it's a rusher sound that I use. These are my go-to pads. I'm gonna use them with almost every song, if it's, a, if it's required. Use my go-to joints. Or sometimes what I'll do is uh, I also have the ability to latch, but I can only latch right now off of the iPad. I got the iPad set up to latch. I can activate certain pads on the Novation, which is quicker for me to activate on the Novation than latch on the iPad. But uh, what I'll do is with my frozen sound, I'll turn on my frozen sound and I'll probably latch like a one and a five. Hit the latch and deactivate it. So now it's latched. And I may even use like the beacon I may activate the beacon sound and last like a one. Deactivate that. Then I come back to plan. All right, you know what I'm saying? So unlatch those sounds. I also got some other worship dress I use. Some of these sounds are sounds that are given to me, uh, especially this one right here. I love using this one, especially the way that David Parks use it. Uh, Starfield joint with the piano. I kind of lift up the modulation wheel a little bit, lift up the modulation wheel. Sorry if y'all can't hear me. And it kind of give it another texture. So if I deactivate the pianos, you just hear the sound itself without the modulation. Now, if I raise the modulation, it, it gives just like acoustic kind of sound. You know what I'm saying? You add that with the piano and my go-to pads, magical. Then I found this transition sound that I like to use, but of course my, my, my homie, I call him my homie, David Parks. If y'all haven't heard this dude play, y'all gotta make sure y'all check him out. Check out his social medias. I'm gonna link it down in the bio, all right? Y'all gotta check out this guy. The way he uses all of this stuff is amazing, but it's a sound he used that I really like. I went in, I did my homework and I found this sound and I use it as a transitional sound. And that's my last sound right here, the 8-bit. Uh, so like, say we doing a song, uh, Let's see, uh, what's the song? So 
So it kind of got that like transitional sound and sorry for the popping and all that. It's going crazy right now because I'm doing a lot of multi-recording stuff. But anyways, uh, as you can see that sound, I activated whenever I wanted to come in, then I deactivate it on certain parts I don't want it on. So like I'll do it on a, on a, on a go up. Then I deactivate it and now I can play anything else. And it's not affected. Well, that sound, that transitional sound is not really affected with everything else I'm playing because of the deactivate and activate. That's, that's one of the dope things I like about Atmosphere is you can deactivate a sound and while you're still holding the sustain pedal, play another sound and it's, it won't affect the sound that you deactivated, but you can still hear the sound you deactivated as long as your foot is on the sustain pedal. It's pretty dope. All right, so that's pretty much my go-to uh, worship on this page. I also have a synth joint on here that I use. So if I hit synth, what it'll do, it'll bypass all of the worship joints. So even if I keep these worship pads activated, it'll bypass those worship pads and it'll only play the piano and the synth sound. So if I hit synth and then turn it up. So now, well, I got the piano deactivated. Now you only hear piano and, and synth. And because the Nord doesn't have a modulation wheel on it, I'm able to use this. I have it set up to where this modulation wheel affects the sounds down here too. All right, and then I have an all in, all in button. If you look on there on the iPad, it says all in. What that means, if I hit that button, it's gonna include all of my pads, the synth, the piano, everything all at once. All right, so if I hit this, now it's gonna include the pads. You gonna hear the pads, the synth, and the piano. Right? So that's for like, if, if it's just me and the service, just me, bass player, Corey on drums, Mark on bass. What? Corey on drums, Mark on bass. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Corey on drums, Mark on bass. No, God, please, no, no! Corey on drums, Mark on bass. Oh my God, wow! And it's just me on keys. I want to have the that, that string element and I want to have some synth stuff going on. I can hit all in and it's playing everything. All right, so on this next page right here, the sauce pads. I love using these pads. I got these pads right here from Leonard Ray Jarman Jr. Y'all got to check him out. And also, you can find some of these sounds on, uh, I think you can find these worship pads on multitracks.com and look for the artist name Leonard Ray Jarman Jr. And he's he actually have those patches on there too. All right. So, like I said, I'm going to deactivate my other pads. I'm only going to focus on these. I can activate these from the Novation too. Well, got to go back to Sauce Pass. Now I can turn it up. I can turn it up from here or on there, but what I've noticed sometimes with these rotary buttons or rotary knobs, these rotary knobs be tripping. Novation. Y'all got to fix this, man. After like a couple months, they be tripping. And I don't even use them like that, but they just be like... It be glitching. Let me see if I can see if it'll do it. See, like that, I'm turning it up and it turned all the way down. So anyways, I can do it from here. All right, so with these worship pads, I have four different stacks. The first stack is a more low intensity. The second stack is, a, a, is like a low mid intensity. And every time I hit a different stack, it adds more sounds. And then stack number three is like a mid-high. And then stack number four, very intense. All right, so the sounds themselves, the sound itself is already dope. But well, what Leonard showed me how to do is by adding certain uh, effects chains, that's the thing. With a lot of these sounds, if you add effects change, I don't even think I went over to my uh, effects change for my piano. Well, let's just go back just for a second. Go over back to the past page from what my pianos. I have an effects change for my piano. I can add in some some verb. Let's see if I can add it here. 
I can add in verb, and I also have a piano delay here. The effects chain, that's where it's at. All right, so let's go back over here to the pad, and I'm going to go to uh, stack, stack two, and watch. I'm going to add the shimmer in there now. Add the shimmer. See the different tone that it gives to it? Oh my God! All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of cloud in there. Take the shimmer out, I'm gonna add some cloud in there. Watch this, well, take it out first, then I'm gonna gradually add it in and watch what it does. Add that shimmer back in there. Yeah, man. And it's a certain thing that this, this song does, uh, stack number two, that I like. I, I try to use it, especially in like those kind of atmospheres, whatever that means, those type of atmospheres. If I dig in really hard on the bottom, it gives this like stormy sound. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll latch, I'll latch that, right? But after that keep going, probably add a little shimmer to it or a cloud, cloud and shimmer. And then I'll bring in my strings, activate my strings, and I'll play on top of that. You know what I'm saying? Sound like almost sound like a movie, don't it? <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's that's mostly on that page. Another thing that I can do is turn down these effects, turn down the streams, and say I activate my pads, right? What I can do now, like I just showed you, I can latch the pads or I can freeze the pads by if I hold on to these two notes here, hit freeze record, let it record for a little bit. And hit freeze play. Now, right now, you don't hear anything, but if I turn up the freeze dry signal, and the good thing about doing it that way is, say for instance, I wanna freeze, I wanna latch this sound that I'm playing, but at the same time, I wanna use the pad too. If I latch it, I can't use it and latch it because then it'll add more notes every time I play on top of the latch. But if I freeze it now, with the freeze going, I can add shimmer to the freeze. I can still use the sound. All right. Then I can stop that freeze or I can clear that freeze and it'll fade out. All right. So, and, and I can also do this this freeze with any of the sounds I'm using, not just the sauce pads. Right now, the sauce pads is activated for the freeze. The stuff that's in the blue is the freeze. I can deactivate the soft pad and throw in the keyboard in there, turn off my pads, activate my keyboard. And now I'm gonna turn it up just so you can know, so you can hear it right when I press play. Now I can freeze my piano by doing something like, uh, Do something like that. It's pretty dope what I can do with this setup, right? And we ain't even got to 
what I be playing up here or over here. All right, so let's keep this thing moving. My bad, y'all. I had to restart my camera. But as y'all can see on this home page, I have four different medias. Well, I have eight, but I'm going to start at the Y, A, and K. Yank. Y'all going to know the new king. But the Y is for the opener. So as you can see underneath there is an opener. We have service openers where we start service off with certain openers or whatnot. So what that does, it launches the scene with the tempo. It launches the watch and everything. I don't have anything set on that right now, but it will launch the tempo. All of the sounds I want to use for the opener, all of that will already be set. So when I press it, it launches everything on the right tempo and the right sounds. Next to that, the A N K one is the Norg off, Novation off, and the vocoder off. But I use this for the vocoder. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I have let's let's just choose a pulse sound. Let's turn this up real quick. Let's do. Uh, oh, I can turn it up here too as well. Uh, let's do pulse one. Pulse is one. All right, so we got pulses one going on, we got the piano, and then we'll choose just a lead sound, right? Turn it up. Right? So with this home page, what I want to do, if I want to deactivate uh, MIDI going to these keyboards, and the reason why I would want to do that is, you know, I don't want to accidentally hit no notes if I'm not playing, or if, you know, anybody come up here and touch anything, it doesn't play any sound. All I have to do is tap the A, N, and the K, and it deactivates all MIDI going to these instruments. So without me touching nothing but that, now you don't hear anything being played, right? Nothing being played. I can always activate my keyboard back by going back, press my pad, activate my uh, pulses, activate my lead sound, just like that, all right? So, and I also have on my homepage song one, two, three, and four. We normally do four songs that deeper, normally no more than that. So I already have those triggered to set for certain tempos, all right? So I can show you actually what the watch does because I already have it set up uh, with the watch MIDI to the computer. Well, no. Well, it, I just turned it off. Ha! Let's turn it back on. All right, so we back. I got the watch and the computer, everything hooked up. So now when I hit song one, watch what it does. It... It goes to song one. Also, all the sounds that I wanted, what I, I would want to use for song one is already set. And I go to song two, you'll see the tempo changes. Song three is six, eight, the tempo changes. And then song four, it's already set. And then I can stop this from doing what it's doing by just double tapping on it and it'll stop. All right? So that's pretty much all this watch, the watch does is it stops. I can double tap to stop from blinking and then when I hit a certain song, it'll start blinking or whatnot. All right. Also, I can start this to blinking even on my pass page. If I do a pass and I from tap tempo, right? I can tap tempo something in like uh one, two, three, four, and then hit one of these gray time signatures and it'll start blinking. So let's tap again. One, two, three, four, hit four, four. And as you can see, it start blinking to that, and I can stop that. Or if we're doing a six eight, and that's for more like on the flow stuff, like if we just flowing on the fly, I could do tap tempo one, two, three, four, five, six, six, four, for a six four joint. I can also do a, a three four, one, two, three, one, two, three, and you have a three four. And then with six eight, you have to count a little differently for this for six eight. So you gotta do like one, two, uh, one and two and three. I don't know how the timing works. I know how it works, but I don't know how to demonstrate it. But anyway, as you can see, the watch is working. So let's keep this thing moving because I ain't even, I ain't even got to the, the sounds up here yet. So over here on my sauce page, um, as you saw, I can affect the dry, delay, and the verb for the pulses. I also have on this right here, I have the leads. I can affect the dry, verb, and reverb. And I also have here for... The uh, big, big sense, to say big sense there, I can affect the drive, verb, and delay. And then my risers, I normally keep that set the way it is on the um, on the iPad. But so on here, I can't really show y'all what the what these sounds are because some of these sounds are given to me. And then also you can find a lot of these sounds on multitracks.com. If you look up, like I said before, Leonard Ray Jarman Jr., you'll find some of these sounds that I'm finna demonstrate. So I got my pulses that I can do. As you can see, it's wanting to blink, but uh, I got my pulses. I have different 
I have different uh, type, I have four different stacks with every sound. Well, three to four stacks with every sound. With this sound right here, the pulses, I have my first stack, my second stack, third stack, fourth stack. And then with that, I can mix the sounds however I want the sounds to, to be mixed. So if I'm doing something maybe like, uh, let's do it. That's one and two. Or I could do uh, one, two, and three, which would give me a more. Add some verb to it. And a lot of times what I do is I play with my left hand, with my top board, so I go up two octaves and I'll be playing. Uh, we don't want that. We just want the pad. So I'll do something like uh, and as the song starts growing. Stack right here. While that's happening, what I'll do, say I have this going on, I'll be on my risers page. Let me have it already set to so stack one. If we doing something like that. I'll do something like this. Another one I use is like my plucks. I have two different uh, versions. I have version one of plucks, and there's this. Uh, that's stack one, stack two. So I use that on a, uh, oh, what's the song? I think I, so. If I go to the tempo, Hmm. All right. Uh, I also got different type of plugs, so I have a and this one right here, I tried to mimic from, y'all already know. Y'all should type it in the comment section. Leonard Ray Jarman. And like I said, with all of my stacks, I have either three or four different stacks I can use, depending on the flow of the song or which one I want to use. So I have my first stack, second stack. And I have a third stack. Then I have a full stack, but it's just a one sign. I also got some key bass stuff I can do on here. Oh, I gotta turn it up. Well, oh, I can turn it up from here. There's no reason why I would use it here. I just have it in my arsenal just in case I would need to put it out, which I would never pause. But I would never do that. But anyways, and then, I, yeah, I showed y'all all those sounds and I showed y'all the rosters. And then y'all should know how 
the uh, how the looper works. The looper, pretty much on the looper, all I have to do is just, as long as I'm in tempo with the song and my session is lining up with the down beats, uh, I can loop on the fly and it loops every four bars. Uh, I'm going to show y'all one more thing before I get off here, though. I think I got the... I think I got the vocal to set up. So I, I showed y'all earlier in this video, I have a, a stump. It was like a foot switch selector, mic selector. But if I stump on it, it switches to output two. If I let it go, it's back at output one. One is used for the talk back. Two is used for the vocoder. So I'm going to see if this vocoder is working properly. We'll see. <laughs> That's how long you were ready, y'all. That's how long we'll bring you praise. That's how long you were ready, y'all. That's how long I'll bring you praise. All right, so listen, before we get off this video, I want to show y'all how, how I'm able to do the looper in a live situation. So I wouldn't do something like this to this, to this extent in a live situation, but I just want to show y'all how I'm able to flow in a live situation. All right, so I know I'm saying a live situation a lot of times but anyways let's tap tempo let's do a one two three four five six seven eight and that's four four we're gonna throw in the click so y'all can hear it. it's coming from my computer uh what i want to do is i want to latch a sound so i'm gonna latch this right here i'm gonna throw some shimmer on there all right i'm liking the way that feels i'm gonna start off with my pauses Pause is one, let's get to it. If I don't like something that I did, I can always restart by hitting the record and hitting restart. Alright family, so check it out. That's the gist of everything that I'm doing with my iPad, with the keyboards, with the guitar. Maybe in a future video, I can show y'all how, like I can do a screen recording of my computer and kind of show y'all how, you know, when I'm hitting certain things, how it responds to the computer and how the computer is sending certain signals to the iPad, all of that stuff. The flashing lights, I didn't get a chance to get into that. You may have, may have saw it, but I didn't get a chance to get into it. But anyways, if y'all would like to see that in the video, y'all let me know, all right? Also, I want to uh, do another video. I'm not sure when. Y'all let me know. How, so, how frequent should I have these videos coming out? Now, don't say 
day after day and y'all ain't watching these videos now i need y'all to smash that like button and make sure y'all subscribe if it's your first time here to the channel but yeah i want to do another video where i'm showing y'all how to do the on the fly click thing like i i kind of showed you here on my ipad but i want to show you the setup that we actually have here at the church with my boy corey on base and now we introduce it to mark where he can do it on the um the on the fly click too on his spd pad but anyways that's pretty much the gist of what I'm doing with my keyboards and my computer and my iPad and my guitar. So if y'all like this video, like I said, make sure y'all smash that like button and I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all already know what I'm finna say, right? <laughs> Check it out. You ain't got to go home, my brother from another mother and my sister from another mister. But you got to get your peoples to subscribe to this channel, all right? Make sure y'all follow me on Facebook and Instagram because I be doing Instagram stories like all the time, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be in that, you gotta be in the yank with your boy. My Facebook and my Instagram, all of that is down in the description below. And like I said, I also put in the description those websites where, where you can find those Leonard sounds and I put in the description where you can follow David Parks and Leonard Ray Jarman Jr. Peace out, y'all. And I, I, I can't end this video without saying how much I appreciate my church, man. I right, shout out to my pastor, uh, Pastor William McDowell. What? McDowell. Bro, what are you talking about, man? McDowell. <laughs> Y'all listen, amazing place. If you haven't ever been to Deeper Fellowship Church, you gotta come down here, huh? We in Central Florida down here, I'm telling you, we got room for you. Listen, y'all, I love y'all. I'm out to the next video.